Hello, hello here on Wednesday, April the 25th of 2018. And we have our loot crate here. I just got this in. I guess since it's the 25th, I should have. Now I'm going to try not to ramble very much. And I'm going to say this as I'm opening it. Because uh, I've mentioned in a couple posts on the uh, Facebook fan group that my computer, my laptop, is having issues. I think it's the fan. Um, I know when I turn it on, it's making a lot of, well, it, it'll, it'll be quiet for a little bit and then it'll start making like some noise. And I think it's the fan or I, I don't know. I, I'm hoping it's the fan because I've looked them up online and they seem to be very cheap. Um, seems like a very cheap part to replace. I have to get the back open though. I have this, I, I bought, I even bought a tiny, uh, a set of these tiny little screwdrivers and some of the screws are in there too tight. I haven't been able to quite uh, get the screws out yet. <laughs> I've been trying so that I can get in there to even see what kind of fan <sighs> I, uh, I need to buy to have something to replace. But uh, so I'm hoping once I get in there to the fan, my, I'm leaving my computer off for most of the day. I'll turn it on for a couple hours maybe at, in the morning when I get home, but that's it. It starts making that little noise or something and I'm like I don't feel safe leaving this on like I don't want to damage the laptop you know so um, I'm, I'm hoping to be able to upload uh, keep it keep it tight you know for me making videos without rambling very difficult uh, but I'm gonna try to rate it in so that I can get this unboxing done and hopefully I won't have a very long video to upload because I mean I don't want to stop in the middle of uploading a video and be like, okay, I'll finish this later. So I'm going to shut up. And I already see an Infinity Gauntlet. Once again, I don't know the, um, the theme or anything, but let me see. I see the pin. So let's see what the theme is this month. Uh, the theme is, it doesn't tell me. That's nice. It's a, uh, it's a uh, goblet. I was hoping it would tell me the uh, the theme this month because I don't actually know the theme this month. Uh, they usually, I thought, told me. Um, we're going to put that to the side. It's a little bent, maybe. But, okay, here we go. Artifacts. Okay. Our thing this month is artifacts. That is our little... Thing this month. You've heard the stories. They come from distant lands and strange worlds. Powerful objects forged by ancient creatures capable of aiding you in your quest. Should you use them wisely, uncover these artifacts and find your destiny. So we're going to sit this over here. Um, I've already seen what that is. So, uh, And we, of course we have a shirt. Of course we have a shirt. Sit over there. Sit over there, Rue. Uh, what is the shirt? It is Thanos. A very comic looking Thanos. Um, sitting on his throne of skulls. And see, he's very, he's very cartoonish. If hopefully I was filming that very closely. So that's a kind of a cute little Thanos on his, uh, on his throne. Throne of lies! I don't know if they're lies or not, but they could be. Okay. Ooh, what's, that's cool. Legend of Zelda, Map of Hyrule. So... This is another, like, poster slash print slash thing. Um, that is pretty cool. I'm going to have to re-roll it back up, but if you can see, it doesn't smell the best. I'm going to say it doesn't smell the best. But there's kind of some of the lands and different stuff, if you can see it. Um, so that's kind of cool. I, don't, I mean, I, I, I played, like, the original, I you know... I'm very behind on my uh, video gaming. I've played the first two, uh, you know, like on the Nintendo. And then I played the one on the Game Boy. Uh, so I don't really know the Lands of Zelda very much. Um, so some of these, you know, things might look more familiar to other people. But it's very, it's very scroll-like. So that's kind of cool. That would be that would be a cool thing to like, uh, you know, put in a little frame and hang up somewhere. 
if I were to ever put anything on these walls, which I've never done, <laughs> never quite gotten around to. Uh-oh, why aren't you going in there? Oh, shit. Okay, well, let me put that in there later. Let me, let me stick it in later. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then what do we have down here? We have a set of six note cards with envelopes. Uh, Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal. They're um, little note cards. Are they... I thought maybe there was a way to get into them. But it does not appear without busting them open. And the collector in me says to leave these note cards in this packaging. I thought maybe there was like a flap, you know, that was like, um, like taped down or whatever, and you could take it off and get in there to see what they look like. But, excuse me, that's apparently not the case. So I'm going to leave these in here, whatever they look like. I don't know if it'll tell me on the thing. Uh, inside our box, we have like this. It looks like the Infinity Gauntlet. So that's kind of cool. Uh, that movie comes out at the end of the week. So that's the thing. Okay. One last thing that we have here. It is a mini epic Weta Workshop Loot Crate exclusive Lord of the Rings Frodo Baggins uh, figurine that we have here. And actually... I just unlocked... He's got his sword there. This was a, actually on TV the other day. The Hobbit. I've never seen the Hobbit movies. Um, Crossy Road. It's a little app for your game that's basically like Frogger with a bunch of different characters. Uh, I wasn't I wasn't even thinking... Um, I, I assume maybe it has something to do with this because you're, you're collecting little rings as you go along. There's like six new unlockable characters. And uh, I, I apparently collected enough of these little rings as I was going along that I unlocked a halfling... So is he, I mean, he's a hobbit. I don't know if that counts as a, as a halfling or not. Um, but this is Mini Epic's Weta Workshop, made by artists of film. Collect them all. We have, uh, he's number one. Number two is Golem. Number three is Gimli. Number four is Moira Orc. And number five is Horikai Berserker, I guess. Uh, these are the other ones on the back that you can get. Of course, there's Mr. Baggins right there, and then there's a uh, little Golem. And the other thing that I'm not sure if I said his name correctly. But those are all... But this is a Loot Crate exclusive. So I don't know if the character is Loot Crate exclusive, or if there's something different about... Um, on the top, he has his little picture. Nothing on the bottom. Mini Epics Weta Workshop. So that's pretty cool. I want to get one last look at him in there for that. And Loot Crate exclusive. It says it right there. Or well, right there. I was, I was, I was putting that way too high. <laughs> okay, Loot Crate edition Lord of the Rings Weta Mini Epics Frodo with with Sting. The One Ring may be powerful, but when it comes to awesome Lord of the Rings artifacts, we definitely prefer Frodo's sword, Sting, which glows blue whenever orcs are around. Oh, so it's the sword. Exclusive, um... Jo Jobot? Thanos t-shirt. Exclusive, the Dark Crystal note cards. Legend of Hyrule map. It doesn't say that's an exclusive, though. Uh, exclusive loot crate pin, loot crate chalice pin. So you can kind of get a better look at the uh, the note cards, the dark crystal note cards right there. If I th throw them very close to the screen, because I think it's focusing on it. But uh, I kind of wondered with the map, because that's what when I went to put it back in the thing, you can see in there it looks like they have it where it can like hang on something, like you know. A hook or a peg or something but um so that is all of our artifacts <laughs> document share enjoy and this is this month one lucky looter will win this prize pack valued at a thousand dollars plus you got hot toys marvel guardians galaxy thanos scale figure NECA god of war fourth scale action figure the hobbit lord of the rings deluxe pocket box set 
Middle Earth 6 Film Collection Extended Edition Blu-ray and DVD gift set, He-Man and the Master of the Universe Season 1 and 2 DVD, the Dark Crystal Anniversary Edition Blu-ray. So if you get the um, Mega Crate, that's all the cool loot you will get. Oops, I'm knocking shit over here. If you're the winner. I don't even know how that works, since, I mean, obviously I've never got it. But um, that's the stuff you get. So, and I did notice I got a, uh, ooh, Cole vs. Butterburger. Sorry, I got distracted by a commercial there on the TV. Um, Loot Crate is doing what NerdBlock used to do, which is coming back, by the way. NerdBlock is coming back. I've, I've gotten a couple emails. I don't know when. I don't know if they're doing um, the themed boxes, because I used to get the horror block. Um, but Loot Crate is actually doing a some kind of horror block, some kind of fear crate, or something like that. So I may, I may, um, I may check that out. I don't know, no promises, um, but I am kind of interested in, and, in, uh, I mean, especially if it's going to be cheaper. I mean, right now it's cheaper because I'm not being charged for anything, you know, my, I'm not being charged for a horror block because they're not sending them out, uh, because there isn't one right now. So that's super cheap to, you know, pay nothing, um, I haven't looked into the price on the Fear Crate or whatever it's called, but they're kind of doing something like that. So I am at least interested in uh, maybe looking into it. And if it ends up being cheaper than the Horror Block, um, I may go with that. Because the Horror Block cost me extra money because it was coming from Canada. So the shipping was actually, I think it was almost $30 a month for that because of the, the shipping was just so much uh, because of coming from Canada crossing that border, you know. Um, obviously that's over. Unless whoever bought Nerblock is also in Canada. I don't know. I haven't I haven't heard much details about that, but apparently Nerblock is making a return. Um, but we'll have to see about all that. And I'll have to see about, you know, getting my computer back to shippy, tippy-toppy shape so that um, I can leave it on for as long as I want and not have to worry about, you know, you might ha well, you might appreciate me having to worry about blah blah blahing on and on and on, so that I don't do it. <laughs> but obviously, I'm doing it right now, and I'm gonna. That's our loot crate for the month. So um, the only other thing that I've done recently was the food truck video. If you missed that, I'll link that below if you want to check that out. And um, I'll just see you for what I see you.